Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is City Game Studio, another episode of my Let's Play. We are currently working on Hero Slash, which is our newest game. Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be in the polishing phase. It's pretty close to being done. Uh, I don't know why it says I have zero points produced for all these things. Because I'm pretty sure we had a whole bunch of points when I hit save at the end of, end of last episode. So I'm very concerned uh, about this. I'm hoping when I take it off pause, it just restores the points that are supposed to be there. Otherwise, I'm about to release an absolute trash game. Um, and I, it, I mean, if it happens, obviously it's due to a bug, but I mean, it'll be what it'll be if it happens. Uh, oh, it looks like my vending machine is broke. Should probably fix that. Yeah, I guess take it off pause and hope. Okay, there we go. There. Woo. <laughs> I was very concerned there, but we're fine. We got all kinds of points here, all kinds of points. So one thing I've realized is uh, I should be always looking for new employees. If my place gets full, I should just get another one, right? So let's hire staff. So let's go let's hire Clement because they are a good uh, designer. Let's hire... Felipe as a developer and somewhat polisher. And then Ernst as well. Kind of fits that bill, right? And do I want Haley for a little extra design? Sure. So that's four extra people. So that takes... Well, I got, got five seats left. So I should probably, or probably soon... Uh, oh, that's not the button I wanted to click. Right here. This is what I wanted to do. So actually, I have the option now. I can build an office building, <laughs> but uh, it's like two hundred thirty-five million, <laughs> which I obviously don't have. Um, I have sixty-two million. Can I buy? Can I buy any of these? Like how much are you? You're thirty-one million. Um, what about what about you? Thirty-two million. Uh, oh, 139 million. Um, do we need, oh, this one's bigger. Yeah, 152. Well, this one looks small. That one's taken. That one's occupied. That one's occupied. Occupado. Uh, this one looks pretty small. 55. Uh, 54. Okay, so I can't afford to buy any of these, but I could afford to rent another one. Um, once I fill up uh, LME here. And I'll, I was trying to figure out how to change the name of these. All you do is click here and just backspace and type, right? I was overthinking it. I thought it was more complicated than it actually was. Anyway, it's fine. I know now, but I'm probably still not going to. I'm kind of used to the names now, right? Um, so, yeah, let's finish this game. And I might, I think I might make a console. Ooh, I need more. Do I need more developers? It seems like I had way more design and polish points. Oh, my. Oh, I did not mean to. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I should explain what happened there. I did not mean to click trash. All right, so we got a pay raise, platform news. What I tried to do, I'm trying to release this because hype is down to 28%. It was at 100, so I obviously hyped too early. Again, maybe one of these times I'll learn <laughs> where I'm supposed to hype. Um, but unfortunately, this was supposed to be mature. But I mean, hey. I took up the full capabilities of this system, which is good, right? Um, but a hack and slash is good. I mean, everybody's still fine, but mature is better. It is what it is. It still should be fine. All right. All right. So who is this? Hello, Chair. I'm delighted to see that your studio publishes quality games. I'm here to talk about Hero Slash. This game looks promising, and I'd like to help you make its release a worldwide success. Hero Slash will be featured... And we will pack your game with our console. In return, we want this game to be a Sega exclusive. All ports to non-Sega consoles will be cancelled. While I have not, I do not have any ports in the, in work. In addition to showcasing your game, we offer you 2.5 million. Yeah, we have a deal. Considering I haven't even ported the single game yet. And but now I'm thinking maybe I should be. And this is only mediocre. I do not know why. I guess I'm not that great at making hack and slash games. Network. I had the network. Very, very wrong. These little comments at the bottom 
give you absolutely no information. It says the same thing every time. Um, all right, so game report. All right, so let's look at the game report here. User interface is insignificant. Uh, superhero and hack and slash is a good match. Physics is relatively important. All right, so we learned some stuff there. So now I'm thinking, do I want to port a game? So we uh, not hack slash, obviously. What about Ninja Master 2? So what is Ninja Ma <laughs> what is Ninja Master 2 for? For the Nintendo, isn't it? Or whatever it's called in this game. Um, uh, these are not available. Reporting. Oh, not available reportings are not they're not powerful enough. So we could uh, port at this. Let's see how much at work it is to do a port. It, we're going to do all three studios, so we'll see how fast this goes. I'm curious. Ah, pretty quick. Now, is it going to be worth porting? Who knows? <laughs> all right, release. Oh, there's still. Oh, you can polish. Just we are still getting a few more points. All right, so that is a pretty good port, I think. They should have taken advantage of the console's capabilities. Uh, that's kind of hard to do. Let's auto upgrade computers again. Um, let's quickly do an update for Valhalla versus Olympus. Turn everything on. We'll fly through this, and then we'll do a quick update for Ninja Master Two. Beautiful. Turn everything on. Be really quick. That'll get some hype back up. Profits will be coming in nice. Sales will be coming in. All right, so that's done. That's taken care of. Uh, console, console, console is here, I believe. Yes. All right, so we can do a handheld or a console, console. Let's do a console, console. All right, so all three studios, yes. Let's, well, it depends. If it looks, it depends how much work it looks like it's going to be. Right. Um, for now, we'll, we'll set all three studios. Maybe we'll change that. Um, accountant. Uh, let's take that off. I should probably hire a second accountant, I'm thinking. All right. So right now, uh cost me 58 k to unlock the technology. Um, $46 manufacturing cost. So at a $350 price, wow, we'd be making $285 per console. That's insane profit. That's a little different from Mad Games Tycoon 2, right? Where you make like $10 per console. But it's only at five compute capabilities with zero graphics capabilities. So obviously we're going to change that. Ooh, we can ramp up the quality, which drives our cost up. We will, I should probably figure this stuff out first. So it's 3.79k points. That's quite a few points. And it, that number is probably going to go up. All right, so what do we got for processors here? So what is it by default? Nothing. I mean, where are we getting the five compute capabilities? So we have the, okay, so it's the genius one megahertz right now. So this one. So three, 2.61 points, $3 manufacturing cost. So this one is double in pretty much everything. Costs twice as much to unlock. Costs twice as many points. Costs twice as many manufacturing costs. And then it doubles again. All right, so yeah, it's pretty straight math. It's just how much do you need? All right, so let's do, for now, let's do this one with six compute points. And we'll see how many compute points we get from these other sources. Um, all right, so graphics card, four or 10. Um, four for now, probably be enough. Cartridge. Um, we could do a CD in, like, what year are we in? <laughs> That's it's twenty eight dollars. That's a lot. Maybe this one it's three and or five and two, four and two. Let's do this one four and two. So we're up to eleven compute and six graphics. That's more graphics than I probably need, right? But I would like to get a little more compute. But I'm assuming memory will give us some compute. All right. So console case. Okay. So hmm. Why would I not just go with the cheap one here? <laughs> Is what I'm wondering, right? Well, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that one. I don't know. I don't know why. 
they, they cost points. Oh, this one takes way less points. Which one did I go with? Oh, the one I picked is pretty low in points as well. All right, memory. We currently have, I'm assuming, this one. Um, I don't really need graphics points. I want more. Although, there may be stuff that needs graphics capabilities in the near future. All right, let's just go with this one for now. So we're up to 12 compute, 7 graphics. Controller. Ooh, what do we want for a controller? Oh, it takes, like, no points. Yeah, these are kind of moot. Uh, let's go with the pad pilot. And it looks like the Super NES controller, which was a pretty good controller. Hard drives. Hard drives are not available yet. All right, so compute capabilities. I want more compute capabilities. So let's double this. All right, so it's 23K points. I think, I'm going to be honest, this might take the entire rest of the episode to make. Um, let's, let's just go full quality. Right? 1.8 max it out, I think. All right, so we still make $200 per unit profit, right? So it's costing me 283K. Um, I mean, this can go, this slider can go up a lot. I feel like leaving it there is probably good. Backwards compatibility, we can't do yet because we don't have an old one. This is our first one. Um, yeah, uh, classic 64, we'll call it. Sure. No, you know what? I'm going to call it the Luchera box. <laughs> yeah, I know. Very imaginative name. Oh, got to hold the button. All right. Congratulations. You started to work on your first console. To make a good start, you need a large catalog of games. Sending dev kits around encourages your competitors to create games for your console. Click on that button to send dev kits. All right. Dev kits. Um, number of dev kits. Five seems to be the most. Um, 24 month duration, sure. Okay, so what's the difference between clicking apply here? Okay, so this is with minis. Um, how do I change the company? Oh, right over here. So there's five companies. Oh, just contact all remaining competitors. Okay, all right, let's try it. Let's see what happens here. Apply. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that was successful. Yeah, it's going to take a while to make this. Oh, my God. Uh, at what point should I start hyping it? All right, spontaneous job application. Hire. Upcoming platform, the SGES. Eight compute and ten graphics. That's weird. More graphics than compute? I went heavy compute on mine. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> I'm... Should I have done more? All right, so we got one free desk. Sign you, and let's uh, let's grab another property here. Rent you. I could technically buy this. You know what? Let's buy it. Let's buy a studio. It's only half my money. Now I don't have to pay to rent it, right? Auto furnish. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seats. Let's see about filling a couple of them. Uh, we got a big developer. All right, so let's go with the big, yep, big designer. Big developer is also a pretty good polisher. Um, same with you. Which one do I want? That one. And is there anybody that's just good all around? I mean, the spontaneous ones are always good all around. This one's pretty good all around, as is this one. Yeah, let's go with you. And a sign. 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 Okay, so can I add that studio? Uh, Black Studios? Yes, because I need to get through this. Like, I don't want to spend the whole episode just staring at this bar going up, right? All right, so Hero Slash, it's profitable, but nowhere near as profitable as Ninja Master 2. Uh, but yeah, porting it seems like it was a good idea. All right, so we're more than 10%. Actually, we're almost at 20%. We're getting there. So it's not going to take up the whole episode, fortunately. 
Um, I'm also tentative to buy or to hire more people at this point. All right, can we show off my console? Doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. But we got lots of visitors. Uh, more than half the total visitors for the show came into my booths. So I'm calling that a win, right? All right, this console better be worth <laughs> better be worth the effort. I, I'm thinking it will be, but we'll see. All right, in the meantime, how many points do I have? 259 points. Yeah, some of these are pretty expensive. Let's buy it. Let's buy this action. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna do any action just yet, but it's good to have the option, right? We're a third of the way there, give or take. So that's good. <laughs> now I could also take a team off of it to do like updates for these games, and you know what? I'm gonna do that. So select studios. Um. Pull Gwagnak. Gwagnak off. Can I wait? Can I pull it off? Yes. And we can do game update. Gwagnak. Perfect. Yeah. And then we'll do an update for Ninja Master. All right. Movies are influencing video games, and we need to manage cutscenes while creating a new game. You have a new polish engagement when creating a game. All right. That's fair. Um, so yeah, do I want to try to find more people for this place? Not a lot of real good people out there. <laughs> we will hire the two that look to be pretty solid. And we will throw them in seats. All right, and Ninja Master 2 update. Perfect. Yeah, we're half done. We're half done in the console. It's getting there. Sega announces the first VR console. 91 is too early for VR. I predict it's, it's going to fail at this stage. That's interesting. Let's see what platform news say. The Linux kernel 1.0 is coming out. Holy crap. 16 compute capabilities, but 35 graphic capabilities. Um, I'm starting to think my console is going to be light on, on graphic capabilities. Um Another update for Valhalla vs. Olympus? Sure. It was a pretty good game. Pretty profitable, right? And, okay, so do I want... The question is, do I want to do... Bang out a couple of contracts with these folks? Or do I want to do... Oh, I do not have... Oh, a lot of these are red because I don't have the platform. Otagi 7800. What would it cost? Hey, Nolan Trino. I want to publish games on. Oh my God. Look how many they have. <laughs> they have like three consoles. Oh, I can bring a lot. All right. Let's try 140,000. That usually works. You got to kind of meet them in the middle. If you try to lowball them, they come back with way too high of, a, of an offer, I find. But that could just be my experience. All right, so this is done. We did learn. Yeah, we learned a couple of things. So that's good. Actually, I think I'm going to... We got to get this console done. Let's put let's put Gwag Neck back on the case. We're over two-thirds. Or right now, we're at about two-thirds. Yo, Suzuki gets a raise. Uh, the Omega 500. So when do I start a marketing campaign for this, right? Do I do it now? 100K per month. Um, auto adjust. What's that mean? 12 months? K. Cost of marketing campaign. Well, it's three. Oh, that's like all my money. <laughs> that's like all my money. Would be gone. Um. I feel like I need to hype it, right? Can I do more dev kits? No, it looks like, okay, we already gave everybody dev kits. Nintendo deny partnership. All right, good for them. So they are going to do get a CD-ROM going. Cool, cool for them. 
I guess I could go cheap. Oh, yeah. Mm, well, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong other than me going bankrupt, of course? Other than that, what could possibly go wrong? This console is taking me like two years to make. Um, I hope it's worth it. I really hope it's worth it. Hi, are you? Linux kernel is released. Sign an employee. Got three for two more. Yeah, oh my god, it's still we're like we're past the three quarter mark. <laughs> I still do have games on the market though, fortunately, but I can start making games for my own console, right? Which could help. I'm I'm nervous. So wait, so is the marketing campaign not happening? Oh, I needed to turn it on. <laughs> I probably should have done that marketing campaign a little sooner. Oh, well. All right. For years, magazine have published their own list. Lately, one of those seems to take off. It is the game of the year. Every year, a new game is promoted game of the year. Well, all right. Well, hopefully I can win that. All right. So... Like, do I want to wait for this to get hype? All right, so I released it. Cost me 2.2, 2, uh, 2.42 million. All right, let's get a game out. <laughs> game of the year. Competitor released a game on my custom console. Nice. Um, all right, I don't know what this game of the year is. I can just make game of the year? I don't understand. So, oh, game of the year edition, maybe? But I haven't won game of the year yet, so I can't. All right, so... Hmm. Do we want to just do an RPG because we're good at RPGs? I'm kind of I'm kind of tempted to just do an RPG, right? Because we know it's good, we know it'll work. I mean, what do we have? What's on the market still for my games? Hero Slash, obviously Ninja Master Two. Yeah, but Hall vs. Olympus um, Four or Three or whatever it is, it is still on the market. Um, should I do should I quickly do some updates maybe I'll leave one studio out to do updates right might be a good strategy I think I can put a second RPG out though um, I forget what was good <laughs> is there a place I can see like the top ever list top selling games but this is like current top selling games right not all time yeah i don't know that's the problem i don't know what which of these ips other than i mean i know valhalla versus olympus is worth doing i'm just not sure about the other ones so you know what let's just let's do a new ip um i mean i guess i could just do fantasy or ninja but i already have a fantasy pirate not first person rollerball. <laughs> Pirate Adventures. Um, I have no idea Pirate works. Everybody. Alright, so definitely not Commander 64. Where's mine at? Where is it? Where's mine? Share box. Let's go. Zero <laughs> zero point zero three market share. So we're gonna put it on mine and then maybe I'll port it to some other ones if I have to. Nervous. I'm just I'm just straight up nervous. Um yeah. Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> it is what it is, though, I guess. All right. So normal, yeah, new IP, Blender Studio, which oh, Blender Studio is probably out of date all the heck too. Um I feel like I need to update Blender Studio first. Because it's probably really out of date because it's been so long right and we have all this capability so yeah let's wait twenty-two thousand points that's gonna take forever too <laughs> isn't it yeah let's put i'm putting all my studios on this like isn't this gonna take just as long as that console did yeah, okay, so I need more people. 
I need way more people, clearly. No game of the year. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, I understand how the game of the year works now. You make a game once per year, and you kind of nominate it for game of the year, I think. But I didn't make one this year. Well, I didn't make any game <laughs> this year, or the last two years, even. Um, hire more staff, I guess. Marion, Carol. I need to buy yet another studio. Oh, I did not mean to pick that up. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I didn't have enough people. Can I? I want to sell this home because it's one person, right? <laughs> anyway, I have a console. <laughs> I guess that's the important thing. How's it selling? Oh, wait, never mind. We're good. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. It's our. It cost me two million to make. It's made fifty million, so forty-eight million plus profits. Um, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. All my concern was for absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, but uh, that's apparently going to be all for this episode because took uh, like twenty-two minutes to make my console. Um, I'm going to hire this person, but I don't have a place for them right now. All right, and, uh, another email to fill your mailbox, but it's for a good cause. I'm here to tell you about a reduction in manufacturing costs, which are box manufacturing costs reduced by 25%. So let's uh, let's reduce the price a bit then. Let's reduce it down to 320. Nice. But uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's gonna do it for this episode, folks. If you enjoyed me watching watching me make a console and panic about potentially burying my company hit that like button but it was fine everything's fine nothing to see here uh yeah subscribe if you haven't already join my discord consider supporting me on patreon links in the description down below to both of those most importantly though be good to each other have a great day and i'll see you in the next one